I'm Billy Reed, and I'm the director of the uh, Virginia Commercial Space Flight Authority. VM is go for launch. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition. We have ignition. We have liftoff of Minotaur 1 supporting in fire. Dr. Billy Reed is the executive director of the Virginia Commercial Space Flight Authority in conjunction with the NASA Wallops Flight Facility and Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport located on the eastern shore. This launch facility offers a safer and low-cost access to space for small, medium, and heavy-lift rocket payloads, including resupply missions to the International Space Station. It is one of four spaceports in the USA licensed by the FAA to send rockets into orbit and is the future home of space tourism. Well, welcome to Dr. Reed's office. I mean, to tell you what, and that's I'm sorry, it just looks like a copy editor's desk. What? No, you know? no, 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 this is it. And I'm... What we're really about is promoting aerospace in the Commonwealth of Virginia, but oddly enough, We've turned into a spaceport operator uh, in doing that. So what our core business right now is providing access to space for uh, small up to very large uh, rockets and payloads uh, for various customers, whether they be the government or academic research or whether they be uh, private uh, satellite people. Well, we really started getting into this in the early 90s, around the 92 time frame. Uh, Virginia became interested in trying to figure out how they could capitalize on uh, assets that they had. And we discovered we had a, a spaceport jewel up on the eastern shore and, and started promoting that. Well, I guess I have to be honest about that, and, and some of it is just pure, outright boyhood interest in sort of things that fly uh, and, and, and rockets. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, that that has always been a latent part of it. But just in technology in general, I'm a technologist. I'm a you know I'm a PhD engineer. Uh, I like things that are technical. I was also a starving young, well, young, starving professor at Old Dominion <laughs> University at the time, looking for something to research. <laughs> so that helped. You know, people say, "Well, why do you need spaceports all over the place?" And you sort of have to have spaceports all over the place for the same reason you have to have interstate highways all over the place. If you want to go to St. Louis, you got to take I this or that. If you want to go to New Orleans, you want to go to New York. So there are routes to space in the same way. And I just want to point this out that in order to take cargo or people, for that matter, to the International Space Station from Florida, which is where that shows, the flight path for that, or trajectory as we call it, is over, guess what, most of the highly populated areas of northern and central Europe which presents a problem <clears throat> from a safety point of view. And so when you talk about location, location, location in the spaceport business, you're talking about what kind of routes or, or trajectories that you take to where you want to go in space. Well, if you notice right here, this is Virginia and the East Coast, and this is the route that we take to get to the International Space Station. And as you see, we overfly only a very small portion of the eastern jungle regions <laughs> in South America. So we have a very, very advantageous location for access to the International Space I thoroughly Station. thoroughly enjoy working for Dr. Reed. Dr. Reed is an entrepreneur because he has a vision. He saw something and an opportunity other people did not see. He has the skills and the knowledge to bring the people and the talent together and the ability to get them to buy into what he sees. He has created a real 21st century industry. Yeah, oh, he's wonderful to work with. Yes, indeed. We have a good time. I don't fuss too much. No, he doesn't.